Hi! Welcome to a new film recapped. Today we are watching The Platform, a thriller story. Enjoy! Goring awakens in a concrete cell bearing the number 48 on its wall, inside the Vertical Self-Management Center, prison. All he has access to is a bed, a sink, and a hole in the floor that his cellmate Trimagasi refers to as the pit. There are hundreds of floors just like theirs, with two inmates using fake identities that the administration has provided. Food is lowered through the hole on a platform every day, and you have two minutes to consume as much as you can before it moves on to a lower floor. The likelihood of consuming anything drops with decreasing elevation. Prisoners are moved to various levels and jumbled at the end of each month. Goring isn't hungry and would want to save food for the lower levels, so he decides not to eat when he first sees the platform. Trimagasi spits on the table after consuming as much food as possible, knowing that others above most likely proceed similar. Goring chooses to save an apple for later, but the cell gets really heated when the platform departs. It turns out that food cannot be kept, therefore Goring must dispose of the apple or risk dying from burns. This brings to Goring's thoughts about the interview he had to sign a document acknowledging that he would be unable to leave until the prearranged time had passed. Goring decided to bring a book of Don Quixote, since each prisoner is allowed to carry one thing. Goring willingly came here and will stay for six months in order to receive a recognized diploma. When the platform arrives the next day, Goring declines to eat once more, and Trimagasi believes Floor 48 was a waste of time on him. When Goring invites Trimagasi to tell his narrative, he replies that it all began with a television commercial. He purchased an amazing knife after seeing one on television, but a few days later, a new advertisement for an even better knife was produced. He was so enraged by this that he killed a passerby by throwing the television out the window. Trimagasi was offered the option to go to the hole or a mental health facility, and he chose the first option. He has only gone as low as 132, therefore he is aware that there are more floors because he can see them below. No food reaches the lower levels, and it's not too horrible to be down there for a month. It's when you have two lower levels in a succession that causes problems. Fearing this outcome, Goring tries to speak with others on the other floors and requests that they restrict their food, but he is met with hostility. In response, Trimagasi pisses onto the lower level, revealing that the knife he brought with him is something he purchased from television. When the platform passes by again, Goring eventually starts to eat. Additionally, he witnesses someone from the higher floors fall through the opening. Trimagasi comments that this happens frequently but that nothing is being done about it. Trimagasi informs Goring of all the floors he has experienced and says they will be spending the next month together. Goring finally comprehends that when cellmates are swapped, they are kept together. When Trimagasi was on the lower floors, he consumed his former cellmate. Miharu's on the platform when it passes by again. She appears injured, and Goring becomes concerned, but Trimagasi advises him to ignore her. Once a month, Miharu descends the pit to search for her lost child. She also kills every cellmate she encounters to increase her chances of being paired with her child the next month. The man they witnessed falling was most likely her victim. In contrast to her, Trimagasi says, he has never killed anyone. Instead, he has only eaten bodies that have fallen onto his floor. The convicts attempt to take advantage of Miharu when the platform advances to the next level. Goring shouts for them to stop bothering her, but Miharu simply kills them and heads back to the platform. At the end of the month, the captives are gassed into unconsciousness and moved around. Upon awakening, Goring discovers that he was chained to his floor 171 bed. Trimagasi reveals that Goring is stronger and younger than Trimagasi, therefore Trimagasi had to defend himself by tying him up. There are individuals reacting to their new levels by screaming from the other floors, and when the platform arrives, not even a crumb is left. Trimagasi declares that it's now time for him to eat after eight days. Trimagasi uses his knife to remove some meat from Goring's thigh despite his cries for mercy, but before he can finish it, the platform arrives and Miharu goes with it. Miharu leaps on Trimagasi and uses his own knife to attack him after realizing how much Goring has been worrying about her. After that, she releases Goring and gives him the knife so he can kill Trimagasi. After that, Goring faints and finds himself on the bed when he wakes up. Miharu is currently eating Trimagasi and has wrapped his leg with a piece of bedsheet. She offers Goring some meat, which she reluctantly eats. She also gives him some water before silently walking off the stage. As the days go by and Trimagasi's body starts to rot, Goring has the opportunity to eat worms as well. As Goring eats, he starts to have hallucinations in which he sees Trimagasi's ghost judging him. When gas eventually overwhelms the cell at the end of the month, 
Goring fantasizes about seeing a woman once more as Miharu looks on. He finds out that the creature kissing him is a dog when he wakes up. To Goring's surprise, Imogwiri, the same woman who interviewed him when he volunteered to be admitted to this prison, is his new cellmate. They've arrived at level 33 and she's brought the dog with her. Goring recalls the interview day and how Imogwiri would eerily hesitate in between questions. Imogwiri says in the present that she didn't realize people died here and that she volunteered in the same way as Goring. There are 200 levels, as far as she is aware of. Imogwiri notes that the quantity of food would be plenty if everyone only consumed what they required in response to Goring's explanation that there isn't enough food for everyone present. Although Goring thinks it absurd, something has to happen to encourage an unplanned sense of mutual support. Imogwiri is certain that under-16s are not accepted by the company, but he does question if the death of a kid could bring about change. Imogwiri only eats what she needs when the platform delivers food to them. She then starts preparing two rations after giving some to her dog. When the platform reaches the lower level, Imogwiri makes an attempt to talk sense out of the detainees by instructing them to consume the rations she had prepared and prepare two more for the following level in order to spread the word. She is obviously totally disregarded, and Goring makes the point that the administration is not genuinely interested in solidarity. Goring responds that being a former employee allowed her the right to select her cellmate. Imogwiri is offended that Goring believes all administration is terrible because she worked for them without any problems. Imogwiri persists in her efforts to daily limit the food, but the lower levels still don't seem to care about her. After two weeks, Goring eventually has enough of her ranting and informs the villagers that they will have to eat crap every day and that he will relieve himself on the food if they don't obey Imogwiri's directions. The inmates begin relaying the messages to the lower levels after the threat is successful. After a while, the platform collapses, leaving Miharu unconscious. She's placed on a bed and is being looked after by Goring and Imogwiri as the dog steals food. The cage gets very chilly as the platform departs, and Goring needs to go after the dog to return the food he stole before they are murdered for disobeying the laws. Goring gives Miharu the bed in the evening and goes to sleep on the floor. When he wakes up, the girls are fighting, and it turns out that Miharu killed the dog so that she might devour it. Miharu departs on the platform the following day. Goring informs Imogwiri of Miharu's efforts to find her child, but Imogwiri clarifies that Miharu arrived ten months ago by herself. Like Goring, she was an actress without a family who volunteered to come. Imogwiri, who has been battling cancer for three years, sent people down here without realizing how serious it was. She felt she could make a difference, so she volunteered to come when she found out she lost that fight, but now she doesn't care. Goring tries to force Imogwiri to eat something on their last day on floor 33 because they might not have food tomorrow, but Imogwiri feels far too miserable to get out of bed. Goring finds out the following morning that he is on floor 202, indicating that there are more levels than Imogwiri was aware of. Imogwiri found this knowledge to be too hard to bear and ended things on her own by using her bed linens. Trimagasi's delusion reappears at that point, asking whether Goring will consume his new friend. Imogwiri and her dog join him this time, demanding that he consume her corpse. Goring makes an effort to ignore their incessant babbling and tries to occupy his time by doing other things, such as devouring book pages to trick his stomach and using a plate shard to begin counting the days on the wall. But eventually, the hunger gets the better of him, and Goring starts eating Imogwiri while Trimagasi gives him cutting instructions. When the next shuffle arrives, a while later, Goring is happy to see he's on floor 6. Miharu, the person on the other bed, follows him while brandishing a knife, but this proves to be a dream. Baharat is Goring's new cellmate. He selected a rope as his object. Baharat begs the folks on level 5 for assistance, feeling quite thrilled that he can climb all the way to the top from here. Before agreeing to grab the rope, the pair above teases him. However, as soon as Baharat begins to climb, the other prisoner takes off his trousers and poops on Baharat's face. Baharat lets go of the rope out of shock and disdain. Goring reaches him in time, but the rope disappears down the pit. They have to eat when the platform arrives and listen to the level 5 inmates being rowdy. The hallucinations of Trimagasi and Imogwiri recur throughout time. Goring is doing fantastic, Trimagasi remarks, because he only has one month left, but Imogwiri reminds him that transformation never happens on its own. This prompts Goring to come up with a strategy and begs Baharat for assistance. With whatever weapon they can find, they should charge the platform and ensure that food is rationed for everyone. Based on his calculations when he was on floor 202, Goring estimates there are about 250 levels, which should be manageable based on how long it takes for the platform to move. 
When Baharat agrees to collaborate, they smash a bed and use the metal parts as weapons. After leaping onto the platform, the two of them proceed to level 7, where Goring reminds them not to let the inmates take anything. They should only start giving out food after level 50, which is when the troubled individuals are, as people above level 50 ate yesterday and will definitely eat tomorrow. Because these inmates were his buddies who had assisted him in climbing a few weeks prior, Baharat is hesitant, but as soon as the elderly guy lashes out in rage, Baharat understands Goring's strategy and starts assisting him in keeping everyone away. The two continue to descend while they threaten others to not touch the meal. After exploring a few more levels, Baharat is startled to see Brambang, an elderly, knowledgeable man, whom he admires. Brambang supports the boy's efforts, but he makes the point that while the administration lacks morality and won't give a damn if the boys are successful, the workers on level zero would, and for that reason, they require a symbol. The reason Baharat and Goring chose the panna cotta is that it's an opulent dessert that will make a big impact if it arrives unfinished. With warnings to keep people away, the task goes on as they descend, protecting the panna cotta. People are incredibly appreciative of Baharat and Goring's food rations once they reach level 50. They discover a mentally challenged youngster and a sick elderly guy on level 97. The youngster tells Goring not to bother since he will kill the guy later so he may feed on him, even if Goring tries to feed the elderly man soup. Goring assumes that Miharu woke up on the next floor, which is empty but for a body. Since no one is alive, the platform continues, proving that Goring's estimations were incorrect and there are more than 250 levels. They find two men attacking Miharu on the floor beyond. It is quite difficult for Goring and Baharat to defend themselves when they leap in to save the girl because one of them is enormous and muscular and the other holds a sword. Sadly, it's too late for Miharu, who has already passed away, as Baharat succeeds in getting his man before Goring could the big guy. Although Goring wishes to grieve for her, Baharat pulls him back onto the platform before it abandons them. Even though several of the floors just have dead bodies on them, the two of them keep on going lower and giving food to the inmates they meet. The platform eventually comes to an end at level 333, which appears to be the final one. They initially believe it to be empty, but Molly, the missing youngster, is really hiding under the bed. The moment Baharat and Goring get close to the child, the platform begins to descend once more. Baharat declines Goring's request to toss the panna cotta into the hole. They are shocked to learn that the room doesn't get hot or cold to punish them, and Barada hesitates a long time before giving Molly the panna cotta. While the three of them remain on that floor, Trimagasi, Imogwiri, and now Miharu continue to haunt Goring. Goring wakes up to find Baharat has died from his pouring injuries after she abruptly agrees with the ghosts and tells him the girl is the message. When the platform reappears later, Goring takes Molly with him, and they descend into floor zero, which lacks any light and is entirely empty. Goring doesn't seem to be part of the message, so Trimagasi appears to tell him to leave the platform. The two of them watch Molly's platform rise in the hopes that she will highlight the abusers above the circumstances. Subscribe for more movies.